okay, so what happens when you get somebody who's a little bored, has a little bit too much time on their hands, and some extra building materials? I've been uh, looking for things to build. My friend's really good at building stuff out of this foam, and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. Oh, we use plaster card, um, the styrofoam. Nice hot wire cutter. You can get these at pretty much any hobby shop. Um, and then some basics, you know, tooth toothpicks and some odds and ends that I'm going to be using. And uh, today I'm going to try to make a uh, Remora. I really like the model. It's a Tau Stealth Fighter Drone. Um, Forge World makes. I'm eventually going to pick up some Forge World ones myself, but I thought I'd give it a try and see if I can't build one. So I'll uh, keep updating as I go. Alright, well after some cutting out and uh, a bit of sanding, and you can see my desk is filthy now because it's covered with dust from sanding. Um, I got the basic shapes. These need a little bit more work, but those are going to be the main bodies. And I decided to make two. And they're not perfectly round because I'm new at this. So there's my two bodies. I've got the wing sections here. Um, this is going to be the uh, body housing for the marker light, and then these are going to be for the engines. It's two for each. And I don't know if I can do this, and I'll try just to give you an idea here. How these are going to go together. Like I said, they need some more sanding and some more work here. But roughly like that. Granted, it's upside down. Oh, and the flat wing goes forward. And these are going to go on. I might need to change the angle on those cuts just a hair. But uh, that's that's the basic idea. Granted, like I said, it's upside down. And then I'll do some detail work after I get them together. But uh, we'll uh, see how they go from there. Okay, a little bit more of a mess. Uh, I've gotten the, the bases here glued together, pinned with a toothpick until they dry, and then I'm going to clip these off on the ends, and uh, you won't even know it's there when it's done. Um, I cut out, lose my drill here, a, uh, if I can get it to focus there, it's just a piece of plastic card, four holes in it. These ones aren't straight, that's why I didn't use that one, but... And then what I did was trim down the toothpicks about half and sanded the end down so it's flat because I plan on making everything from scratch. And what that turns out is like this, which basically makes the barrel of a burst cannon. And I still got to come up with something for the end. I was originally going to use a piece of pen tube, but it's a little too big. So I'm going to... Uh, tweak around with something I'll find something to use for that but that's how that's coming along so we're getting there so uh, I did go ahead and use the pen casings I cut them a little bit shorter than I originally planned and uh, there's my burst cannons so uh, get some more parts gonna build the rest of them uh, Got those glued together and they're waiting to be dried here. And uh, I'll be back. And my finished product needs a little bit more detail work. I'm going to inscribe some mold lines and got to put the seeker missiles on still. But I thought they turned out pretty neat. I put the guns a little more forward. Most of the ones I've seen had the guns back, like under the wings, like the, the regular model, and then the seeker missiles where I have these, but I'm going to put the other way, I put the seeker missiles under the, the top part of the wing here. But, that's uh, my drones. <laughs>